Hi, this is Kevin McPartland, Director of Fixed Income Research at TAB Group. I'm here with George Calhoun, the Director of the Quantitative Finance Program at the Stevens Institute of Technology. Uh, George, why don't you tell us a little bit about your program? What, is, what does quantitative finance mean? Well, uh, probably most of your audience knows what quantitative finance is. It's the uh, impact of technology, computer systems, advanced quantitative methods on finance. But um, in Stevens, in the context of Stevens Institute as an engineering and science university, but we had uh, traditionally focused on the other uh, uses of engineering, mechanical, chemical, and so forth. And it's, it's new for us to shift our focus to look at the financial world uh, and begin to try to fill that gap between what you guys in that world are already, uh, you know that you need in terms of the skill set and what the educational institutions like Stevens have been providing. So we created this quantitative finance program, uh, launched it two years ago. It's an undergraduate program, uh, Bachelor's of Science in Quantitative Finance. It's the first program of its kind really uh, in, in the area and one of the very first in the country uh, at the undergraduate level. So it, it's, it's quite exciting. We have about 73 students in the program uh, in the first two years alone and that's uh, uh, beyond the initial targets we set for ourselves. So we're, we're feeling pretty good about the, the launch. So the course load is some combination of uh, business, computer science, and math. Is that, uh, is that basically sum it up? Uh, right, yeah. We, of course, you need to have the standard finance and business and accounting, but uh, the uh, additional material that you're, we want to add to that is uh, basically about six semesters of computer science, uh, six semesters of quantitative methods, and uh, some very specialized courses in quantitative finance to show the students how to kind of bring all that together and, and um, be working on the types of problems that are in the forefront of the industry right now. And as your students get closer to graduation, I assume they focus in on particular areas. I mean, what are some of those focus areas sort of in the quant finance umbrella that, that the students are finding most interesting now? Well, of course, there are a lot of foundational pieces that they have to acquire, everything from options pricing and uh, risk management. It's a big agenda for us also because the field has been expanding to include risk and, and regulation issues that maybe weren't there a few years back. Mm -hmm. But by the senior year, what we want to have them doing is bringing it together in a um, some kind of three-dimensional uh, project focus that gives them the understanding of how the pieces fit together, not just the math and not just the computer technology, but also the economic, the macroeconomic, mm -hmm. and, and even accounting policy or regulation, banking regulation. So um, we have uh, right now in our, at our senior design level, for example, we have uh, two projects I'll mention. One is um, a very interesting one that's a group of students that are looking to create a new model for a credit rating agency, taking a so look at what's maybe not gone so right and, and some of the methodologies that are perhaps uh, still in the pencil and paper era, bringing more of a, a quantitative perspective to that. Something we clearly need. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do with that. and. The other uh, project is uh, also interesting, has implications on both sides, is uh, we have a team of students that want to build an asset bubble detector so that they can give advice to Mr. Bernanke or anyone else that's worried about a, uh, a market that may be getting ahead of itself in terms of mispricing the, the fundamental assets. Um, not an easy problem, uh, something that a lot of people have looked at trying to do, but. Um, you know, with students, uh, it's interesting because they come at it uh, sometimes from a different direction, and in this field particularly, uh, you know, not having the benefit of 20 or 30 years of experience is sometimes in its way even a benefit in terms of getting fresh thinking. So this is clearly much more than uh, uh, training high-frequency traders or the, the next uh, builder of uh, CDOs. It's, a lot more in depth. Well, I think, yes, the field has certainly broadened since 2008. Uh, it started uh, quantitative finance uh, 10 or 15 years ago was about algorithmic trading and, and tuning up computer models to beat the market. Uh, but it's a broader agenda today. There is a, a lot of focus in our uh, curriculum on risk, on understanding 
policy issues, regulatory issues, even accounting issues, securities law. Uh, personally, I'm actually not as strong a quantitative uh, geek as uh, maybe uh, some of my colleagues, and um, I want to make sure that they understand the uh, economic and, and business assumptions underlying what they do. So. Well, we'll look forward to uh, your students solving some of the world's problems in the next absolutely, decade. Absolutely, absolutely. Very good. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Again, this is Kevin McPartland, Director of Fixed Income Research at TAB Group, here with George Calhoun, the Director of the Quantitative Finance Program at the Stevens Institute of Technology. Thanks for watching.